Good morning, modern steaders. We've been getting a lot of questions lately about our winter piglets. Well, I guess they're really not winter piglets, but about our winter pigs. So we gotta give them some water, we got some food scraps for them, and let's go have a chat with them. Like a fireside chat with piglets. They're out waiting for us. Hello, Pasciutto and Copa. So I'll get some left over. They smell the leftover food I have. Some of the first questions have been, your piglets are huge. Are they really piglets? Well, that's the debatable, I guess. We wanted to get piglets that were at least 60 pounds, so that way we knew they had enough fat on them to make it through the winter here, being in northern New Hampshire, with just the two of them being outside. Once the piglets get bigger, you don't have to worry about them being outside, but if you got like a 30 pound piglet and you live in a northern climate like we do, and you only had two of them, they're gonna, they're gonna have trouble staying warm for a little while. So we went to the farm and we picked out our pigs. I'll put a video right here. The farmer had raised the piglets out on pasture their whole life. He had six of them in a pen when we got there. They were around 60 pounds or so when we picked them out. These are the two we wanted. So he kept them in the barn for a week and he fed them grain and they packed on the pounds. If they weren't 100 pounds when we got them last week, they're 100 pounds now. They're huge. So we're not gonna have any issues with these two pigs going through the winter time, which is perfect, that's what we wanted. Winter pigs are gonna go through more food because they burn a lot more calories just to keep warm. Their feed to weight conversion isn't gonna be as good as it is during the spring and summer months. Now, for us in our area, winter piglets are cheaper. We paid $125 per piglet in the springtime, and those piglets were around 30 to 40 pounds. Our winter piglets, we paid $75 a piglet for them, and they were between 80 and 100 pounds. There's a huge difference right there. The biggest reason for that is supply and demand. Most people want to raise their pigs in the springtime, and in the wintertime, the average person doesn't want to be bothered with it. The nice part about that is that's going to offset the cost we're going to have invested in the feed and the bedding. We're going to be raising them outside here on pasture. I'll bring you up close to them, the heritage raised pigs. They're not pink pigs, they're heritage breeds. And look how hairy they are. These pigs are going to do amazingly well in the colder weather. We're using hay for bedding. They have an area where they can get in out of the wind and they can bury themselves in hay. The reason why we're using hay versus straw, straw is like double the price of hay. There's not a lot of farmers up here who grow wheat, so I think that's the biggest reason they get to truck in all the straw. Pigs do really well outside in the elements. They just need a place to get in and out of from the rain and the wind. So it doesn't need to be a fancy barn or heated barn. They just need a place to get in out of the elements. Think of wild pigs. They do really well outside constantly. When I'm raising animals, I like to think about that. Like how do the animals thrive or do in nature normally? How do they do it? So I kind of try to implement those plans in action when we're raising them here. We're gonna be doing the deep bedding system, not just in where they can get in and out of the weather, but in the whole pen. We're just gonna be layering it more and more with hay, whatever we can get our hands on throughout the winter. We are gonna be spending money on the hay and whatever else we can get for our deep bedding, but we need to think about that as an investment into our food freedom. This right here, the deep bedding system, is a big part of our food freedom. We're gonna compost this, and this is gonna grow our beautiful food next year, and then we'll have a huge abundance for us to give away to friends and to family, and to feed our animals in return to make us some even better bacon. You can't get any better than that. We installed a hot and cold water spigot on our house, so we'd have access to hot water during our three-day hog harvesting classes. I'll put a link to those videos right here. It's been working out amazing because I've been having access to warm water to give to the animals. The chickens love it. The pigs love it. 
Right, prosciutto? You're loving the warm water. The way I look at that is we don't want to give it to them too hot because we can burn them. But on a cool day, like right now, it's cold outside. I'm looking forward to going into having a hot cup of coffee. So I think about, I bet my pigs would like a hot cup of coffee. So when I bring out their warm water, that's what I'm thinking. I'm bringing them out their hot cup of coffee for the morning, for the afternoon, for the night, just to finish their day off, start their day off strong for them. On the really cold days, we can make a mash out of their food with warm water. Thanks, I'm glad you like the sweatshirts. We just got our new sweatshirts and t-shirts in. They're gonna be up on our website at lumnaacres.com. We got two different color sweatshirts, two different color men's t-shirts, two different color fitted women's shirts that Gina picked out, and two different color kids shirts that Olivia picked out. I'll put a link in the description down below. We just hit 14,000 subscribers. I wanted to thank all the modern steaders who's helped us with that. When we hit 20,000 subscribers, we're gonna be giving away an automatic chicken plucker. I'm gonna put a link to that video right here and to our blog post in the description down below. You can go check out either one of those to find out how you can enter in for your chance to win. One of the other reasons I love having animals around on the homestead is when it's cold out and windy out, you don't always feel like getting outside and enjoying it. And sometimes you're not gonna enjoy going out and having to take care of your animals. And that's fine, there's nothing wrong with it. But I really enjoy having the winter animals is it forces me to get out every day, at least twice a day, and go feed them and water them. And it makes me go outside and enjoy the beauty. Yes, it might be cold, but it's beautiful. Right now, it's snowing out. If I wasn't out here taking care of my pigs, I'd be inside. So I just love that. It, it forces me to get out and it makes me look at the elements in a different way. It makes me see the beauty around the farm. One thing I love and enjoy doing is taking photos for Instagram. I don't do it all the time, but I do enjoy taking a nice snapshot of an area and then I can appreciate it more. When I upload it to Instagram, I'm like, oh wow, that was nice. I wasn't looking at just that one area. I was looking at the bigger picture. Sometimes it's just nice to focus in on a small thing and see what you've done and what you've accomplished and it makes you feel a lot better about what's going on. Sometimes it's just so much chaotic stuff going around in our life, in the world, on the homestead, to just narrow in on one thing that you've done or that you're doing that you really enjoy just makes you feel that much better. And having animals on the homestead and forcing you to go out every day, to me that helps me do it and I really enjoy that. I hope I answered everybody's questions. If I didn't, leave them in the comments down below and I'll either reply to them there or I'll make another video and answer them for you. We hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, share it. It really helps our channel grow and it helps just reach new people. And we wanted to thank you all for that. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.